me. I was walking like over there and I just thought you were like absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Where are you from? I'm from Baltimore. Okay, I'm sure you get it all the time though. <laughs> Thank you. What's your name? Taylor. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, yeah. Um, yeah, I was just wondering if I could get your Instagram. Yeah, of course you can. Awesome. <laughs> you seem very like down to earth, you know, you seem really cool. Yeah, no. Just yeah, I don't have a lot of reception here, so just put it there. Flies, what color are they? Like blue? They're actually like hazel. Hazel, oh. okay. Am I typing it in your notes? Yeah, yeah, because my Wi-Fi is a little iffy right now. Oh, yeah. So. True. Okay. Are you chilling by yourself or are you... you no, I have um, a couple of my family members. They're in the water. Though. Okay, solid, solid. Yeah. All right, well, I hope you have a good one, all right? Okay, thank all you. All right, bye. Yeah, bye. I'm not going to lie, I kind of hate this video. And I don't blame the guy. It's like, it's the best he's going to do. Like, what are you going to do? You see somebody, you know, melons and cheeks all exposed, lying down there on a the beach, and you're just like... Uh, you got like the heebie-jeebies, you got the nerves, you know, you're shaking in your boots, you don't know what you're gonna say. I don't blame him for trying, I, I, props, op, props to him for giving an effort. It's incredibly cheesy and cringeworthy and I would never do this. Excuse me? I was walking like over there and I just thought you were like absolutely beautiful. First mistake is he goes, oh, I just had to walk over and tell you that you're beautiful. You've been running through my mind all day. And this line has been used literally since like 2017 by like every guy in the world that studies social skills. And I'm pretty sure every woman's heard this at least a thousand times. If you multiply it, it's like 25% of the population of the earth. It's wild. Okay, so this line is actually really bad. I recommend you never, ever, 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 ever use this line because the person has probably heard it at some point that day or at least the day before that week. Where are you from? I'm from Baltimore. Okay, I'm sure you go straight into a question. Where are you from? I guess it could be because the person's on the beach, right? They're like hanging out on the beach. He wants to know how much time he has. If the person's from out of town, then it makes sense to figure out if you have time with them just for the day, or if maybe they're a local, you can figure out if you have time with them for a longer duration of time. But personally, I wouldn't ask where they're from or go straight into a question. I think it's unnecessary. It kind of throws the ball into their court. When you approach somebody initially, they're just looking at you like the first 15, 20 seconds to make sure you're not a stranger and you're not creepy and you don't want money from them. They're just like, scanning you they don't even hear what you say really they don't even hear it. they're just like what's this all about man where's this going so what you're saying the first few seconds doesn't matter too much if you throw it on them you're like here's a question they're like oh it's like they're, they're unprepared unless they're socially like ready they're gonna be unprepared if they're sitting there reading a book the chances are they're gonna fumble the first question you give them or they're gonna be like fine good here and give you like a one word answer because they don't know what to do with it themselves. Okay, I'm sure you get it all the time though. <laughs> Thank you. What's your name? Taylor. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, yeah. Um, yeah, I was just wondering if I could get your Instagram. Yeah, of course you can. Awesome. And he goes for the Instagram, which is all right. It's a little bit of a low investment thing, right? People will give out their Instagram to anybody. You could like ask a random person like, hey, what's up? You look cool, can I get your Instagram? You even gotta go like, hey, you're attractive or hey, you know, I wanna get to know you better. But nothing, you don't have to know. Just like, can I get your Instagram? They'd be like, yeah. People go with their Instagram for no reason to anybody. And the thing about Instagram is it's not really a committed way to get to know somebody better, right? They give you your Instagram. If they don't add you back, you go into the, the box or the column, the folder of like unseen messages or trash or like junk mail. People send me messages. I don't even get them right away. They automatically go to my trash. Like, I don't even see them. They go to my hidden folder. I have to like go there once a week like, oh, somebody messaged me because they're not following you back. So it doesn't matter. If you're going to do this, get them to follow you back instantly on the spot. That way, when you message them, it actually goes through. I actually prefer people add me, to be honest, and then I message them later on. You seem very like down to earth. You know, you seem really cool. Yeah, no. Yeah, I don't have a lot of reception here, so just put it there. You have beautiful eyes. What and going back to the eyes thing, you're so pretty, you're so beautiful. It's like, cool. I mean, he complimented her on her unphysical attributes of like being a cool person and down to earth. That's great. But I mean, too many physical compliments isn't good. We talked about what not to do. Let's talk about what to do. All right. I'm going to put a video here that I did that went viral recently about what is the best way to start a conversation with a stranger. This can be used if somebody that you're interested in a romantic situation or just a general person on the street. Any way you want to make a connection is different with somebody that you're finding interesting. Use what you're going to see right here. Here's the default opening formula that will work in any situation ever in the history of the world. Okay. What you do is you make an observation and then a statement. Pretty simple. You observe something about them, say the observation, and then make a statement. 
That makes sense? You watch something about them, observe them, make a statement. Observation. It, must, it looks really annoying walking around the street with that, but I guess you take your cycling and health very seriously, right? You look at the type of guy that takes your cycling and your health very seriously, right? It's an observation and a statement, right? Guy, turn over there, guy at the left of me, right? Over here, I observe. Man, you really express yourself in your colors. I get the feeling you're very much an artistic person. It's a formula, it's a structure you're using. It's not a particular line you're using. And the formula of what you observe for every person is gonna be different, right? So you can use this formula over and over and over again in the same club for like three hours and it's not gonna go dry. So the key takeaway from this here, especially if you're going to somebody that you like that you find attractive is don't compliment them on being attractive. Don't make that the jump off point from being interested to talk to them. You can mention it at some point, but don't make that the first initial thing because likely they're gonna go like, oh, thanks, and like walk away, or oh, that's great, and walk away, or thank you, because it's like a dead end conversation. It's like, hey, what's up? I'm a stranger. You like me or not? Hey, what's up? I'm a stranger. You down or not? Like you into this or not? And why should they be? They don't know you, you're nobody. They don't know you from, from anybody yet. Like they shouldn't be into you. So it's gonna take time for that to happen. So I don't recommend going to somebody and saying, hey, you're attractive, I want to meet you. Are you single? They're like, uh, no, who, what, what's this about, why? Too many questions, too many whys in the back of their mind. The next thing I would do is I would tell a little bit of a story about myself. What I'm up to that day, that could be 20 or 30 seconds long. Like, hey, I was just out here taking pictures of the scenery, I'm from out of town. I brought this new camera, I really wanted to test it out. I'm looking for adventure. Or hey, I'm just out here trying to be social, meet new people. You know, I'm really enjoying the street festival. You look like you're interesting. You have like a cool swagger about you. Something I can't quite place my finger on. Hello, nice to meet you, right? Like have a little bit of a story so they can scan you for the first 20 or 30 seconds and make up their mind if you're cool. Now at this point, I probably find out they're a single. I'm not gonna say, are you single? Do you have a boyfriend? But I make it, make it into a fun kind of a game. Like what percentage single are you? That's a great question. What percentage single are you? Because they might tell you, hey, I'm 0% single, or hey, I'm like 50%. It means like they're kind of seeing somebody and it's going somewhere, or they're not sure, they're kind of in between, or I'm 99% single, right? They're talking to somebody, but it, they don't have any hopes, just out there dating. You get some really interesting answers when you find out what percentage single are you, because they will tell you they're either getting out of a relationship or they're maybe getting into one. You could also ask, are you madly in love with anybody right now? It's a great question to ask because this will tell you if the person actually has emotional commitments to somebody else. That's what it really comes down to because maybe they're casually dating. Maybe they got a rotation of two or three people. It's up to you to decide if you want to be in that. But are you madly in love with anybody right now it tells you if like they're actually emotionally invested into something and they want to see it go somewhere. That's what really matters because people are at various stages of single. I don't think people are actually in relationships very often. I think they're at more transient stages of in-between relationships. We'll call them being single or not in love with anybody or trying out their options or dating around. And the last part here, what I do is I get straight to the point. I make the offer. I don't be like, can I get your number? It's like, for what? The number doesn't matter. The phone number doesn't matter. The text uh, doesn't matter. The email doesn't matter. The Instagram doesn't matter. It's all about for what purpose? What do you heard? Good, okay. It's all about for what purpose? What are you and that person gonna do together? Paint a picture of the idea. I know this great ice cream shop, it's the best place in the city, you're gonna love it. Uh, I know this thing I'm doing next week, it's really great, I wanna invite you. I wanna take you out, I wanna treat you special. I wanna show you something, I'd love to share this with you. i love you to be my guest. Explain to them what the opportunity is for you and them to get to know each other better. And again, it's not about the coffee or the drink or the tea or the ice cream, it's about you and them getting to know each other better for a purpose. If you could, the better you can explain that, and then once you get the phone number or the Instagram, then it makes sense. Then they'll be excited to call you back because there's nothing worse than getting a phone number or an Instagram and you're like trying to convince the person on Instagram of it would be a good idea to meet up with you. That sucks. I'd rather just get that out the way first in the initial meeting. Hey, what do you do next week? When do you not work? I know there's a great place I've been meaning to check out. I'd love to take you. You'll be my guest. You're going to enjoy it. Guaranteed. Okay. That's how you want to do it. And if you want, and if you like these tips and you want to know more, or well, you're in the right place to know more, you come to the right guy with over 15, actually 17 years of experience in this right now, teaching it around the globe for seven years. I got a program that's available to you right now for the holiday special, which will allow you to get my best verbal skills all the way from meeting to relationship and uh, whatever that may be for you. And you can get these in my programs that are available right now. We have a crazy special for the holidays. Click the link down below, you can check it out, get an exclusive discount. It's 84% off, and let me tell you, 
They were taking this all down on January the 1st. This won't be available anymore, so you know the exact time. That's not just a marketing thing I'm saying. We're really taking it down January 1st. You wanna start your verbal skills off right in the new year, getting some good riz, getting some good social skills, not being alone, not crying yourself to sleep on your pillow, not feeling pathetic or messing it up when you see somebody you wanna to talk to but stuttering and freezing, not having the confidence or social ability. Fix it now. Do it, click the link, check it out. You will not regret it. Put me to the test. If you don't like it, 30 day money back guarantee. That's my guarantee to you. Try it, test it out, see if it's good for you. I know it will be because everybody else has been satisfied so far. And if you wanna see more videos about social skills and conversations and meeting people, then click up on one of the corners here. And I also have some live demonstrations that I'm doing that you can check out as well. Click the other corner and check it out. And I will see you in the next video. Don't go nowhere, let's keep it going. JG.